Hey guys, Alex from Moonlight Tarot is here and today we will be checking on your future partner who is coming to you singles. It's still your time. Second reading in a row for you. So we have four piles. Please try to choose your crystal not with your favorite color or with your favorite crystal try to feel which pile is calling for you sometimes it can be not the usual crystal not something you usually choose try to feel it try to listen to your uh, intuition if you have a number popping up in your mind go with it so we have four piles today four crystals for pile number one we have this clear quartz crystal I've been getting funny comments recently. Somebody told that I kind of not let them choose because one of the trinkets was bigger, much bigger than the others and it stood out. That's why people have been choosing only these options. The other one said that I'm using the same things all over again and that's why it's difficult to choose. But please try to choose with your intuition. If you feel this or that pile, go with it. Tarot is all about intuition. It's not about what you like consciously, but what you are being drawn to subconsciously. So, uh, hope I will not get a comment that I'm using somebody's favorite crystals and then I gave them no choice or something like this. So, uh, for pile number two, we have the uh, my favorite one, fluorite. Favorite, well, they all are my favorites, that's why I have them. For pile number three, we have amethyst crystal and for pile number four we have the pink quartz crystal so choose your pile choose your crystal the time step is, time stamps are down below in the description box and i will see you soon with the piles with your choices hey those who chose pile number one with the clear quartz crystal so let's see today we will be checking only on who is coming towards you but well, maybe we're gonna get some more messages mm -hmm. so we have two of pentacles knight of pentacles queen of pentacles high priestess four of swords and the death and i want to get one more card for the death to clarify it oh this one hmm the death and the justice You know what, somebody who is coming to you, they kind of have been through a lot. This is somebody, I would say, experienced. Mm, it feels like, I don't know what is your age, but this person is 30 and up. Um... Uh, this person may have been around you for a while. Maybe you live in the cert in the same area or you work in the same place, but you kind of haven't been noticing each other. Mm. Let me adjust the light one second. Okay, so this is somebody you you might have met before, may may have seen before, but you kind of you've been not in in contact. Somebody from around you somewhere. It may be somebody who has recently, well, like before meeting you, before becoming an item with you, um, had another experience, uh, they've taken a break after, so they had some experience in their relationship for sure, they had to heal from it and they had to learn from it, and this is somebody who's really wise, it feels like they are very experienced, and also this is a person who's very sharp-minded with this uh, justice and the death and the nine of wands, it's like they're using using their experience uh, to not necessarily consciously but somehow they are starting a transformation in other people very interesting person loving caring and also um, they I'm not getting with this Queen of Pentacles I'm not getting the usual feeling of being able to kind of give 
control you with with or stifle you with uh, their love no they've learned not to do this anymore but this is somebody capable of love on a deep level but yeah rather confusing rather confusing because this person is not like the others mm -hmm. yeah they definitely healed they maybe took a break from from mm, their previous relationship wow wow one more one more this is somebody who took their time to learn what self-love means they may be uh, multi-talented or having a complicated personality kind of switching from one it's not mm, subject to another like they are it confuses either how much they know or how many different completely different not non-related with each other interests they have and this is somebody who when when you're gonna meet this person they will be single and happy single with this nine of pentacles nine of cups they just kind of they are definitely able to love but they they know they know what they need they know what they want they know what works for them what not they are acting from the position of self-love hmm. single by choice what else can we get for you pile number one who will be your future partner who's coming towards you um sharp tongue as well and it's like this person okay Ooh. it may be so they're happy and fine one minute but if mm, okay another seven of <laughs> seven of cups and seven of Pentacles, uh, chariot, also seven. You see, we have three seven in a row. Two of swords, the hangman, and the mm, knight of swords. It feels like this person does have principle. Why it is so? My camera is weird, guys. I'm sorry about that. My camera is weird. One moment it's too dark, then it's too too bright. I, I have no idea what's happening. Um. So. Uh, they may attack other people verbally i mean um, they they may seem calm and peaceful but if um, their principles are being attacked or diminished or laughed at they're gonna fight for it they can make a stand for something that is important for them and this person is kind of really with this hangman um it feels like as I was saying, they may be different, not the usual, not your usual type, or they may differ, their opinions may differ from you, they may think differently, but with the hangman again, the high priestess, they have definitely, how to say, something in their life, their experience, their background taught them some things that other people don't even think about. So they may look at many things differently, not like you used to, or not like people around you used to. Mm-hmm. Stubborn. Stubborn. Stubborn and can be too assertive or too authoritative when it comes to something that is important to them. But you, you never know because um, it feels, again, another Seven of Cups. This person is either a multitasker or have multiple talents or like very very like many different sides it seems like this person can be confusing to other people it's like i don't know a girl who knows everything about tanks or something something is very surprising about them or they can know like many different things many languages or like many conflicting interests or something like this there's something unusual about this person we have page of cups eight of wands in reverse high priestess the magician definitely strong four of wands yeah uh, beautiful pile number one i'm loving loving it because so on the one hand, this person is strong and experienced, can be mature, can be mature beyond their age. But on the other hand, they definitely 
they know how to relax, how to enjoy little things. Um, they don't, with this eight of wands in reverse, they either don't speak too much or their actions are very carefully calculated, like they don't, they don't do too many things, but they know how to become successful, how to get what they want. But they don't do unnecessarily stuff, you know? And this is definitely somebody with whom you will be able to build something beautiful. Because with this Queen of Cups, with this mm, Queen of Pentacles, this is somebody who who is family oriented, who is long term commitment oriented. So uh, you you will be able to discover them long and kind of they will be surprising you along the way. Somebody with whom it won't be boring to spend years of your life. What an interesting character is coming your way pile number one let me know what you think about this reading uh and definitely let me know when you're gonna meet them so um yeah thanks for watching and if you're in need of a personal reading you know how to find me everything is down below in the description box and i'm moving to pile number two now Hey, those who chose pile number two with this beautiful fluorite crystal. Let's see. Today we're focusing strictly on the person who is coming towards you. So what can we get about their character, their personality? We have the lovers, the king of cups, the ace of cups, the devil, queen of swords, and the three of pentacles. Hmm. Um, you know what it feels like again so this person may be um, a disappointed Pisces or Cancer Scorpio somebody who chooses not to show their loving side like um it may be a person who seems like a loner. Mm, they may be a person of few words. But uh, much more is hidden inside than on the outside. But let's clarify the devil. If you need to be scared. I'm not getting anything super negative. I'm getting that this person is like very careful with what they say. Very careful with their words. And also with what they show. Because... They they are very very loving inside and they learned. Yep, yep. This is about what they show. This is about what they say. They are super careful with their words because they may be I don't know like some somebody like me like Sun and Moon in Pisces but rising Gemini and they let their. Uh, air sign protect their heart so they've learned to protect their heart because they they are able to love like very strongly on a very deep level but they're choosing not to show it they may be very cool very guarded you know but also this person is a very good friend mm. and the person a few a few words i'm getting a few words so they don't say much but you can trust what they say you know like this hmm interesting so let's see more pile number two who who is this person let's get more information about them the sun and the moon and the fool wow and the page of cups three of wands they definitely have something Geminian in them hmm it's like they're thinking a lot about their future. Have the Nine of Swords, the Four of Swords, Three of Wands, Page of Cups, the Fool, the Moon, and the Sun. Um, they have many bright ideas, but sometimes they can get, it feels like they can get carried away with their fantasies or with their ideas or uh, with the feeling that they can do. It's like, it's not that they overestimate themselves but it feels like it or other people other people may see them as childish um because they have big plans for their future like very big plans 
Uh, but they're thinking a lot about it. They're thinking a lot, a lot about it. They are very thoughtful. They're, not everybody sees that. Not everybody sees that. They have. Uh, they may have a problem with um, misjudging their appearance. Uh, it feels like it. Either they have a problem with their age or with their appearance. Something like this. Something they cannot accept about themselves. Let's see more. Ten of Cups, the Fool. Maybe a person from another country, far away from their family. Mm -hmm. uh, it can be somebody who has been into serious business or was very, very focused on money before. But now kind of going more into psychology or personal development or something like this. Maybe into some spiritual things or arts or something like this. Something that is less materialistic. But deep down inside they do want they do want love. They really want love. And they miss somebody. Either their family or somebody they lost. We have Ten of Cups, the Fool. It feels like they kind of, they've lost their family. Either they lost somebody from their family or they, they're away from their family somehow. With this Nine of uh, nine of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups and the High Priestess. They have goals. Again, they have either they are already successful in their career or they have reached their goals already. But now they, they are thinking about more kind of when you're going to meet them, they will be kind of transferring from one realm to another, like changing maybe their point of view or changing their views on the world, uh, becoming more uh, spiritual. What else can we get about your future partner? Seven of Cups, King of Swords, Page of Wands, Temperance, The Lovers. Okay. Which one? And the Moon again. Let's clarify the Moon. <laughs> the Fool. The Fool is coming up three times. It feels like this is somebody mm, with very youthful heart. Again, page. Very use, youthful spirit. And that's why, again, maybe so they look much younger than their age. Or they behave much younger than people think they should. Something like this. Very youthful. Uh, for some of you, they may have chosen to travel around the world or to live in a tiny house. Something, you know, not, not standard materialistic goals, but something that like they may have given up a good job and they ha might have moved to a tiny house or they may have bought a house on the wheels, something like this. They don't like to be tied to something materialistically. can be somewhat of a free spirit something something you know like a challenge for your mind very interesting but definitely somebody very positive can be a person of art but something childish about them a lot of pages here a lot of childlike energy So it's not necessary for some of you. This is a person of few words, but for for others, like they can be silent one moment and they can be very joyful next moment. But they are trying not to show their uh, their heart. That they have a very big heart. They try not to show it. They may seem childish, but they are more like childlike. You know, 
and there can be very sudden and unexpected discoveries about this person for you definitely a challenge for for your mind how interesting whoa guys let me know what you think about the reading if it resonated with you or not um uh, i always read your comments and well if you are in need of a personal reading you can find all the information down below in the description box about getting one with me well and we are moving to pile number three now Hey, those who chose pile number three and this amethyst crystal. So let's see. Today we are focusing on your future partner, only on them. Who will they be? What kind of person it will be? We have the hermit and the sun, the king of pentacles, the six of pentacles, the ace of wands, and the world. So it can be a person from afar. Or from a different culture different country different background somebody who will light the fire in you uh, kind of oriented with, with the king of Pentacles with the six of Pentacles here this is a person who can give you support support take care of you uh, he he or she uh, it's not about the gender it's the, about the energy but this person is mm, they they kind of have a need to support other people they're very supportive they're very caring and they are good at they're very consistent it may take time for this person to make a decision but they always stick with their decisions and they're very very loyal and again they may give you support either financial support or moral support somehow they're going to create a foundation for you uh, for you but for the world and the hermit it may be somebody from afar kind of looking at you from a distance mm, strong strong but i want to clarify the sun here what do you mean by the sun oh authoritative it can be somebody with high social position and somebody who kind of um rather authoritative you know mm either having a lot of opportunities or a lot of resource can be a lot of resources with the sun and the pentacle somebody influential you know so and rather um used to people agreeing with them interesting how interesting huh. let's see more let's see more can be somewhat of a star status you know maybe mm, well known in their area in their country in their city in their business whatever they're doing knight of pentacles knight of cups somebody who will be supporting you from a distance first mm -hmm. nine of swords four of swords hmm Five of Cups, Eight of Swords. One more. Mm hmm. I'm getting for you. So for most, for for pile number one and two, I was getting more about their personality. For you, about more the situation. It does feel like there will be something, something difficult to overcome for you, uh, for the two of you. Either it's a distance or there's something else like um, this is somebody who can be very inspiring or supportive for a long time. But also they're deep thinking uh, thinkers and yeah, they, they are taking a long time to to make uh, make a step. And it feels like again, there is um, a distance some some kind of a distance between two of you and they will um, they're going to be upset about it and upset about those difficulties that are making kind of your future together somewhat difficult to achieve but since we're checking your future partner they're gonna find a way out or both of you are gonna find a way out right but this is somebody who can be you know what 
thinking too much about things. Mm -hmm. What else can we get about this person? Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're gonna take time to think, think, think. Um, it's like they can act swiftly with this king, knight of wands. Uh, they can act swiftly after they take their time to consider everything. Uh, they need they need to think it through first before they do something with the knight of wands, seven of cups, the hangman, and the eight of wands, and the sun. But they always kind of come up with a solution, with an idea. Hmm. But sometimes they can act without without thinking. Sometimes, so you see, sometimes this person takes really, really long time to figure things out to do. But sometimes they can be impulsive and act on an impulse. Just act like this. So, um... Interesting. When they have a proper impulse, they can just act on it and just... I just want to do this. I just feel like this. Like, okay, here I come. I just jumped on the plane and came. Huh. Something like this. Stable and impulsive. This is a very interesting combination for number three. So what else can we get about their personality? What kind of person they are? Four of Swords, calm, reserved. I would say more like not calm, but reserved. Knight of Wands in reverse now. Yeah, they sometimes they act on the impulse, but they know that it can bring a lot of disappointment. So they're trying to control themselves very well. But again, with the two aces of wands here, this is this may be somebody like you know from a of a creative profession, can be um, working with creative people, can be creative themselves, can be uh, something like this. They are creative and impulsive, but at the same time trying to be organized, very very organized, because they know that impulses cause uh, destruction and disappointment. So we see with the strength and the chariot here, they are really trying. Mm, I want to clarify this. This knight of wands and the ten of swords. It feels like their impulses, yeah, their impulsive uh, behavior caused some troubles in the past. So they're really, really trying to control it. Maybe they're meditating. Maybe they're trying to calm themselves down. It's like they're trying to calm the mind. And so on. Mm -hmm. The world again. And the wheel of fortune. Uh, this is somebody who is trying hard to work on themselves. You know, not just with words. They, I don't feel like they're talking too much of it. But they're doing things. So maybe when they were young. They did. I don't know, many things they've discovered. The world they've discovered themselves. So now they know what... Um, being a irrational or being impulsive or maybe uh, switching partners can lead to. They know it and they don't want it anymore. They're choosing different things now. So they are working on growing. So this is somebody maybe with um, very turbulent youth experience or having many partners in the past but somebody may be famous so they had many multiple partners in the past also but this is somebody who wants different things now and somebody who's uh, strong and trying to become even stronger you know character wise maybe physically as well yeah it may be somebody physically strong or um healthy you know, we're just uh, following a healthy diet and trying to do the healthy regime. Somebody like this. But uh, this is, you know, like with two aces of wands, this is somebody with a very strong, passionate side of them. And uh, also very strong willpower. They are passionate, but they are not inconsistent. They are passionate, organized, um, 
having a lot of willpower, having a lot of influence, by the way, too. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Hmm. I want one more card here. And that's it. Mm -hmm. they, they, they definitely have some disappointment in the past. They definitely have some disappointment in the past. So that's why that's why uh, they may take time before they rush forward and get through those obstacles that for you, it may be, I don't know, it may be uh, some kind of a distance, not necessarily physical, can be social, I want to say, but... I don't know, you may be from different countries, it may be online dating, it may be something else, but there will be some obstacles, obstacles that can be, um, that you can overcome, that you can overcome. So, but they're going to take some time before they really start overcoming them. Interesting. Let me know what you think, pile number three. And uh, thanks for being with me If uh, today. If you are in need of a personal reading, you know how to find me. Everything is down below in the description box under the video. And we're moving to pile number four now. Hey, those who chose pile number four with this pink quartz. Let's see. Today we are focusing only on the person who will be your next partner, on their personality and maybe how it will be relevant to you. To your relationship so we have the five of cups seven of wands the moon two of wands five of swords and the judgment this is somebody who has been full like i don't know walking in the dark somebody who who has been leading some kind of a lifestyle they don't want to lead anymore Either they have chose a different path already, so it's like maybe they have been following some destructive path or something. They have been, you see, with this moon, it's kind of, they have been lost. They have been lost with the Five of Cups. This is the Full of Sorrow card. And the Seven of Wands maybe fighting the world. It seems like they've given up the fight. They've been fighting with the world. But before you meet, they gonna, maybe it has already happened for some of you. It has happened for others. It will happen soon. They, they are going to see a different path of not fighting. Not fighting. But kind of waking up. You see this is very dark, dark, dark and coming to the light finally. Who? Somebody who had some painful or very traumatic experience or youth. Mm. It's not just one thing. It's the way of living. Let's see more. Yeah. Somebody who's very active. Oh, very talkative I'm getting. Mm. It can be so either very talkative or very good with words. Mm hmm and uh, very careful with uh, trusting other people like maybe having trust issues but learning how to how to let go of, of them it's like they're trying to release their past hurts and pains and regrets it's like the first half of their life they've been in the dark but in the before meeting you there there will be a major major change in transformation and they will kind of release it release all that that happened hmm, how interesting let's see so let's see what else can we get about the future partner for Pile number three. Hmm. Page of Cups, Seven of Wands, Page of Wands, The Lovers, Two of Cups in Reverse, but the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Huh. Yeah. Four. It's like. Um,
they know what to fight for so if they find something if they find something valuable they hold on on it uh hold on to it and fight for it and with the page of cups and the page of wands it may be somebody you know rather positive rather positive and maybe somebody easy to go somewhere easy to change their direction something like this they easily like if you call them let's go out now they say oh, okay i will be ready in five minutes something like this uh with the two of cups in reverse so hmm. let's clarify because two of cups in reverse but we have the queen of cups and the knight of cups yeah okay i'm getting it they also though they're releasing uh the mistakes of the past and the disappointments of the past uh they're kind of not easily falling in love with people they uh they choose the slow approach to love and they don't give their love easily but also when they find love they do kind of hold on to it when they find something meaningful they they um they do everything to keep it in their life interesting i want one more card for the lovers to Mm. very strong willed this is what i'm getting very strong willed and um the person who can you know if they decide something they will go through with it and they're kind of not going back on their choices if they choose something or somebody they just they're fighting to make it work something like this Let's see more. Mm -hmm. Two of Pentacles, Five of Swords, the world again. Can be somebody from another place, from a distance from you too. But somebody who has kind of demons in their past. Oh, two cards. Mm-hmm. So, on the one hand, their past, whatever happened, has uh, made them the strong character that they are. Uh, on the other hand, they have trust issues. They have trust issues. They find it difficult to... Um, for some of them, it can be with money. It can be that they, uh, they are afraid to trust people because, because they may have money. A lot of it I'm getting. For some of them, it's a trust issue. For others, it's difficult to trust people because they're rich. And because maybe people use them for money. Something like this. Hmm. Pile number four. It's a person. Yeah. We all have demons. But this person kind of has demons in the past. It's like they kind of took what life dealt them, pitied, pitied themselves for a while, but then decided, they are very determined, decided to change their life completely. They are able to be very loyal and caring, but again, they are very loving, but they are not easily to give that love, to give that care, to give it all, you know? It's gonna take time. But again, if they set their mind on something, they will do everything that's in, in, in their power to, to make it work, to make it there, something like this, to, to make it happen. But I want one more card here. Mm -hmm. Queen of Cups. This is somebody definitely able to love able to love and who's gonna love you 
but don't expect it to be i don't know love from the first time time first time first glance sorry and um like moving in together in a week or something no this is something that's gonna take time uh but this is somebody who's truly you know who kind of knows the value of love knows the value of loyalty they know it they know how rare it is uh and also they are able to to provide it from their side and when they see it again they hold on to it the problem is here they may have never experienced true love and they're really 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 seeking for for the real thing you know but again they value it and they are able to to provide it themselves too oh this is interesting guys um let me know what you think i always love reading your comments and uh well if you want to make sure about your personal situation you know how to find me everything is down below in the description box thanks for being here with me today and don't forget to have a great day bye